Okay. Now observe this carefully. I have in this case I have a right to buy. I'm looking at left side at 6100 or right to buy at 6200. These two. Okay. The one here and one here. Now let's say that uh, Naresh, your father-in-law comes to you and says that one of these I'll give you free of cost. A call option with strike price of 6100 and call option with strike price of 6200. Which one would you like to like him to offer you? Now it's cheap. <laughs> yes, so assuming that you have a choice of getting one of these free, which one would you like to choose? Call, call. Nifty is as of now 6266. Or it in fact does not matter. We don't know what, where Nifty is. Correct. He would choose the lower one because I have a right to buy a cheaper price. Which means that in case of call option, lower the strike price, higher is going to be the amount of price. Amount of price of that option and price of option is premium. Okay, so we can care, observe that here. 6200, this side, the premium is here. This 92, do you see this? So how do you know it's premium? It says LTP. What is LTP? Last traded price. What is the price at which people are buying and selling this option as of now in the market? So this 6100 option is trading at a price of 179. But as you increase the strike price 6150, the premium reduces 136. If you go to 6250, it reduces further 57. If you go downwards, it is as low as 90 paise. Which means in case of call option, there is an inverse relationship between strike price and premium of the option. Are we clear? And it makes sense because lower the strike price, I have a right to buy at a cheaper price. Are we clear? Now, Let's say there are two put options, one with 6500, other one with 6400. Which one will you choose now? Higher one. one, because this time is the right to sell. So I want to sell at the highest possible price. So if you would observe, this column is the last traded price. 6200 is 16, but as you increase, it is increasing downwards. So 16, 29, 52, 125, and it keeps on increasing. So, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is that if I have to summarize this, if this is call option and this is put option, as the strike price increases, the call option premium will decrease and put option premium will increase. So, the relationship between strike price and put option premium is positive and call option premium is inverse or negative. Are we clear with this? Okay. Now the next one. The current expiry as of now is 30th of Jan 2014. Okay, so let's say we take 6200 call option. So generally if I say 6200 call option, it means that call option which has got a strike price of 6200. This call option which expires on 38th of Jan, how much is the premium? So let's look at the premium which is 92. The next expiry that we have is 26th of February. I'm not looking at the prices as of now, but let's say you have a choice that you would get one of these two free either the option that expires on 30th of John, Jan or the one that expires on 26th of Feb. Which one of these would you prefer to choose? Jan, because you would get that immediately. Hmm? Yes or no? Let's look at the price of 26th Feb now. 26th Feb is 177. Now tell me which one will you choose? So which means this is worth 92, this call option is worth 92, this call option is worth 177. Which one will you choose? 
you are getting free of cost here you are getting so you have two choices get 92 free or 177 free which one will you take 177 that means you take so what i mean to say is which one of these two is more valuable this is more valuable okay let's see further 26 feb now i go to next expiry 27th march 6200 200 45 27th march right so 27th march 245 so as the maturity of the contract is increasing the premium is increasing let's see one more 26 june i hope we have some transaction 509 so 26th june 509 So what do we conclude from this? That as the maturity of the contract increases, the premium amount is going to increase. So of course, given a choice, if you had to take something free out of these, you would try to take the one which has got largest maturity. So what we are concluding is that in case of call option, longer the maturity, more is going to be the amount of premium. Is it clear? but what would be the case in case of put option so for a call option higher the maturity higher is the premium for a put option if maturity is higher premium would be premium would be naresh in case of call option longer the maturity higher the premium but in case of put option higher the maturity premium would be higher what do you think shailesh it <laughs> it could be higher okay let's see so let's look at let's look at 6400 put option okay so strike price 6400 if you take immediate maturity 30th of jan it is trading at a price of 125 let's look at the maturity in february the next maturity 26 feb it's look at it's trading at 155 let's look at the one that expires in march and 185 the next one is june and 6400 Three hundred and ninety-five. So, what do we conclude? That as the maturity is increasing, the premium of the option is increasing, which means that we've seen two important relationship: one with strike prices and one with maturity till now. So, let's summarize that. This is call option. This is put option. The first with strike prices. If the strike price is higher, value of call option would be lower, but value of put option would be higher. If maturity time to mature is higher value of call option would be higher and value of put option will also be higher are we clear